Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to be checking out Minecraft Java Edition version 1.17 and I'm going to be looking at a mod which is called the first person mod and you guys might be wondering why would you need a first person mod when Minecraft already has first person mode in it. Well as you can see this one is slightly different, it actually shows your body as well. So as you can see I'm looking down and I can see my body and I think what they've done here is that they've gone for the third person mode but they've zoomed in on the head and some of the other games do do this as well which don't have first person modes where they take the third person mode and then they zoom in on the head and as you guys can see I can see my body and it's really cool because it's quite immersive as well and it really feels like you're part of the actual player as well can see what they're doing. Obviously I have changed the FOV so as you can see I had it there to Craig Pro mode but let's zoom a bit more. There we go. So what I'm going to do today guys, I'm going to show you how to install this mod and it's going to use Fabric because at the moment with version 1.17 Forge does not work unfortunately so Fabric does work. So we're going to use Fabric to install the mods and I'm going to show you how to install Fabric and this mod and how to get all the dependencies installed as well. And as a bonus as well I'm going to show you how to install this uh, cool looking lightsaber mod as well that I've got here. It's really cool. Alright, so the first thing you need to make sure is that your game is up to date. So if I go ahead and open up my Minecraft launcher, we'll see that this is actually running version 1.17 on here. As you can see, the latest release is 1.17. And if you just close that down, the next thing we need to do is actually download Java because this is going to make our lives so much easier with installing Fabric and all the other stuff. So if we just go to java.com, click on Java download, and then agree and start free download. Just wait for that to finish and then just open up the file, wait for that to load up and I'm going to click on install and then I'm going to wait for this to finish installing it on my system. Alright so as you can see it says you have successfully installed Java so that means it's, it's been updated and installed so we can go ahead and close that down. Next thing we need to do is to actually download the Fabric installer so if we go back to our internet browser start typing in minecraft fabric download and it's normally the first link and it's the main website which is fabricmc.net so if we just go to that website and to download this you have to click on two links you can click on this one here which says use or you can click on this one here in the middle which says you, you can download here so let's go ahead and click on use on the top menu there and if we just wait for that to load up and if we just click on the installer so just click on that for it to download as you can see it's uh, downloading and it's finished downloading Fabric. The next thing we need to do is actually install a dependency which is this Fabric API. So if we just click on this link here which says most mods will also require you to install Fabric API. So just click on that. It should load up another link to the curseforge.com website. And then if we just click on files and download the latest version which is up here. Click on download. Just wait for that to start downloading and as you can see that's also finished downloading all right and the next thing we're going to download now is a mod which is going to allow us to see all, all of our installed mods in one place so if you guys have ever used forge you can actually see the mods because it creates a special mods button on the main menu but with fabric it doesn't do that we have to install another mod for it to do that. So, so we're going to download a mod which is called Mod Menu. So I'm just going to start typing in Fabric Mod Menu. And if you just go to the curseforge.com link again, so it's this one here. And I am going to leave a link in the description below for all of the files that I'm downloading today so you guys don't have to go around searching for them. And then if I click on Files, and download the most up-to-date versions yet. Yeah, gonna click on download, wait for this to finish. Okay, so as you can see, mod menu has been downloaded as well. 
and now we're going to move on to the first person mod or first person model as some people also call it so let's go ahead and start typing in minecraft first person mod fabric and again so as you can see it's the curseforge.com link so if we go to that website and we just click on the files link there and download the latest version so wait for that to finish downloading and as you can see first person mod version 2.0.1 has also finished downloading now let's just go back to the main description for this mod now if we come down and scroll down as you can see it talks about dependencies now it says it needs three files we've already got the fabric api but we haven't got this one which is called transliteration lib and this one as well which is called not enough animation so let's go ahead and click on this link here and download this file as well wait for that to finish okay and let's go back and let's click on not enough animations now it does say technically this is not required but it is good to have it so let's go ahead and install this one as well let's click on download wait for that to finish as well and as you can see i've now got the dependencies as well there and the last mod that i did show you there was called to a laser blade all right so let's start typing in minecraft to laser blade fabric and it's normally the first link there which is the curseforge.com website so let's click on this is the fabric version and let's go ahead and download this as well wait for that to finish all right so that has finished downloading as well now you can go back and always check if this does have any dependencies but it doesn't so that's good so i think we have got all the files we require so what i'm going to do now i'm going to place them on my desktop and then i'm going to show you how to start installing them and then get them running onto your minecraft java edition version 1.17 all right so i've gone ahead and placed all of these files on my desktop and i've put them in the order that i've downloaded them so if we go ahead and have a look at the fabric installer first of all uh, so we do need to install this into our minecraft java version 1.17 and because we've got the java.com installation done earlier this is going to make our installation much more easier so what we need to do now is if we right click on the file which says fabric installer and then select open with and then select java platform se binary and it should open up the installer and as you can see it's already selected version 1.17 there and it's got the latest loader version and it's got the default installation location as well so all we, all we need to do now is just click on install and it should be done quite quickly and it also tells you that many mods also require you to put fabric api into the mods folder so let's click on ok close that down let's move this out of the way now now what we need to do now is to just place all of these files which are the mods into the mods folder so if we open up our launcher we go to installations and if you hover over where it says fabric loader or any one of the links on here for the installations and just click on this folder icon let's minimize that and in the root directory of the minecraft folder you should have a folder called mods if you don't have this you can just right click do new folder and then rename it to mods so if we open up the mods folder at the moment it's empty so what we're going to do now we're going to drag all of these files into the mods folder there we go so as you can see i've got fabric api i've got mod menu i've got the first person mod and then i've got the dependency files as well for it and i've also got the other mod which is called two laser blade and now that we've got all of these files into the mods folder let's close this down let's go back into the menu and if you go to the play tab here you'll notice in the drop down it does say fabric loader 1.17 just go ahead and select that and you can just click on play you can also come into installations here and click on play on this bit here so let's go ahead and click on this and wait for that to load up 
when doing this for the first time, you may see it say downloading and then finalizing and then it will load up the game. And as you guys can see, we do have a mods button here. And if I click on this mods button, I can see all of the mods that we've got installed now. So as you can see, I've got the first person model mod. I've got the mod menu, which is allowing us to see all these mods that are installed. And I've got the not enough animations and I've got the two laser blade as well. So let's click on done. Let's go to single player, create new world. Let's create a creative world. And then let's call it anything. And then create new world. There we go. So as you can see, we do have the first person mod installed as well. I can see my body. Now to configure this, if you press the escape key, there will be a little icon here with the man showing on it. So if you just click on this bit here, you can also click on the mod spot in here and then click on this bit here and then click on this configure icon to configure this. But I like to go to this man icon here when I press escape, it's quite easy and convenient. And as you can see, you can configure quite a lot of stuff here. So enabled by default, I'll put that to yes. I haven't changed anything, but just to show you guys, I'm gonna select vanilla hands as well. And paper doll I've activated as well. Let's move that to the bottom right. And then cosmetic, we can select feather just for example. All right, save and quit, there we go. So as you guys can see, I've got the, the paper doll at the bottom right there. And I do have the vanilla hand as well, which is different to what it was before. All right, now let's equip the laser blade as well. So if we just press the E button and just press this tab here, which says page two of two, and then you can select these laser blades. Let's put them in our selection. And as you can see, I've now got the laser blades selected looks really cool so yeah this is how you can install the first person mod and you can install other mods as well using this method and hopefully you guys have found this video useful if you have please do give us a like and if you have any queries or questions or comments about this mod or any other mods for minecraft fabric leave them in the comment section below also, do let us know what is your favorite mod that you'd like to use in the comment section below. And also, please do subscribe to this channel to help support it, help it grow. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.